Hello, so I'm John Layton, I'm the Tech Director of Loco2 and I'm going to be talking tonight about how we're fighting the European rail booking monster. I'm going to start off by saying just a little bit about planes. So, between 1990 and 2010, in the EU15, the use of planes grew by 96%, so nearly doubled. And of that, the UK uh, accounts for 25%. So it's a very large proportion of those flights that are happening from the UK. Now, if we look at personal emissions for a UK person, that's 13.4 tonnes of CO2 equivalent per year. The proportion of that which aviation accounts for is quite large. It's 3.78 <laughs> tonnes, so 28%. So it's quite large, and if we can reduce that by, by getting people to take fewer flights, then we can have a big impact on people's personal carbon emissions. The situation with planes is getting worse. We heard only last week about people harping on about building new airports, and the amount of flights that are happening is, is currently on the increase. But in Europe, Unlike some other parts of the world, we're blessed with an incredible tra train network. So on this diagram, uh, if you look at the, the brightly coloured lines, those are the highest speed lines in Europe. The dotted ones are where new lines are actually being built. So there's an extensive network, some bits quite fast. And the good news is that trains are much lower carbon than planes. So this is just a simple comparison of the, the average CO2 of a short haul flight compared to a train. This is, you know, average. Uh, so why do people fly? Well, not because they like scanners. Uh, people fly because it's, it's quick, because they know how to do it, because that's what everyone does. They, they haven't thought of doing anything else. And it, it, it's, it's straightforward for them to book. On the flip side, a train journey is quite hard to book. If you're going on, on any sort of complex train journey in Europe, you generally have to go to one website to look up instructions, and then you go to several other websites to actually book your tickets and you'll have to try and line up the times and make sure you've got enough time to change and hopefully your session won't have timed out on one of them when you come back to the other and if you've tried it, it's really horrible. And actually there was, there was a study done where participants in the study were asked to try and book trains on the internet and 67% of the people who tried to book trains actually just failed to make a booking. That, that's compared to about 2% with flights. So it's, it's really, really hard at the moment to book uh, train journeys. And we've seen with Eurostar, in the, in the last 10 years, Eurostar's captured about 80% of the market between London and Brussels and Paris. And they've done that by making it really straightforward, really quick and easy and straightforward to book. And, and they've really seen great adoption by doing that. So a look at Loco2, we want to do that for the whole of Europe. We, we want to attack the booking problem head on and make it, we don't run trains, but we want to make it really easy to book trains. We like to think we're better at the booking side than the train companies are at the booking side, but we don't run trains, so they're, they're better for the trains. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, so, this is our website. You can see there's a lovely simple form uh, that you can just fill in, and then you can see your journey laid out on a map. You can see how much you might save compared to a plane, you can see when your interchanges are. The aim is to make it as simple and straightforward as possible. On the next stage of the booking process, we show you your detailed itinerary. You can add extra tickets to your basket and, and build up complex journeys. And all this looks quite simple, but from, um, from my perspective, from a technical perspective, it's actually really horrible. Uh, there's, if you know what XML is, I don't know how technical the audience is, but if you know what XML is, you probably know the pain I'm feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so, but it's really great that we can, we can make the, the process as simple as possible for the user. And I want to close on a message for the airlines, we're coming for you, we're going to steal all your customers and make it really easy to take European trains. Really?